Hi, I'm Keisha Dixon, the Tapping Queen. Today, let's do a tapping for all you heart-centered practitioners out there. If you've ever had a, a fear of sharing your gift of healing. So starting at the Karate Chop Point, tap along with me. Even though I have this fear, this fear of sharing my gift of healing, I choose to deeply love and honor myself. And even though I'm afraid, I'm afraid to share my gift of healing with others, I deeply love and honor myself. And even though I have this fear, this fear of sharing my gift with others, my gift of healing, I choose to remember that the other side of fear is courage amplified as I choose to love and deeply honor myself. I have this fear. <laughs> This fear of sharing my gift of healing. I want to talk about my gift of healing with others because I know that they could use the healing. But I have this fear and it stops me dead in my tracks. This fear of sharing my gift of healing with others. And I really feel it. I feel this fear. I feel it in my throat. It feels so constricted. Then I can't speak the words. It makes me so afraid. And I start thinking thoughts like, what do I think I am? to share my gifts with others, to tell others my worth. I start thinking thoughts like, stay in your place. Remember who, where you came from. Physician, heal thyself. And that makes me so sad. And I feel it. I feel it in my heart. It makes my heart so heavy. Because I really do have this gift. But I'm afraid to share it with others. I don't think they'll see my value. Maybe they won't believe me. Maybe they'll judge me if I share. Maybe they'll think I'm not so special. My gift has no worth. Maybe they'll just think I'm weird. And then I start thinking, why should I stand out? I don't want to stand out. But I know I have this gift. And not sharing it almost feels like a burden. This burden on my heart. But I'm still afraid. I'm so afraid. Maybe they'll judge me. Maybe they won't believe me. Maybe they won't see my value. And that makes me really afraid. Paralyzed with fear. It stops me dead in my tracks. I wonder where I picked this up. This story that I can't be myself. 
this story that I can't share my gift with the world. This story that it's not safe to stand in my power. And I'm a powerful healer. I wonder where I picked up this story. It's not my story. I am a healer. I choose to put this story down now. That it's not safe to stand in my power and to share my gift of healing with others. I choose to remember that healing is the children's bread. And healing is deeply desired. And that others need healing. And deeply desire healing. And we travel the world for healing. would willingly search far and wide for healing. And they don't have to. Because here I am. Presented in front of them. Openly sharing my gift with them. And for that, they're, they're so appreciative. And they feel so supported. Because they've wanted healing. Healing for so long. And they feel so supported that I've appeared. Able to be the conduit of their healing and they appreciate that gift so much they feel so loved from that gift I choose to remember people seek healing people want healing People value healing. And they need that healing. And I won't stand in the way of it. I choose to remember that the lesson of fear is simply courage amplified. Courage amplified is the healing I'm receiving today. And I'm open to receive that healing. Amplified courage. Amplified courage even in the midst of fear. It's safe for me to receive this gift of courage. And I graciously receive this gift of courage. I graciously honor this gift of courage. It's the healing I receive today as I deeply love and appreciate myself. And take a deep cleansing breath. I'm Keisha Dixon, the Tapping Queen.